I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, he'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go, but I must put the needs of my child before my own.
The batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> well, here we are again. Project Purity and me. It's been close to 20 years since my last entry. As I left all of this behind to make a life for my son. We've spent that time in the Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. And that's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, confident. Just like his old man. And as hard as it was to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. So, here I am, back where it all began. Project Purity. God, we wanted to change the world. We really thought the waters of life could be a reality. And that's why this is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect the project. Fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting on a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I'll need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Lee, Madison, at Rivet City. He went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, just making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, the very paragon of forces. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. 
I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine... God. Not again. Not like this. Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after another bottle of scotch, broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex and sorcerer scientist leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Vault Tech's social preservation program and his work on something called GET, the Garden Queen Creation Kit. To be honest, the GEC sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. Terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. And no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collected knowledge remain within the halls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Braun's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Braun has the missing puzzle piece.
not easy to be good in this world. I'm glad that someone is. Yes? Hey. Hey, hey. Nice to see you. What do you need? Well, hello. And every eye shall be blind with his glory. Who the hell are you? Never mind. You need a drink. Cherry, I'm thirsty over here. Ha <laughs> ha! They're my party girls. I'm too much man for just one woman, so I need two. 
<laughs> I wear them out every night. Why should they bother getting dressed when I'm just going to take it off? <laughs> Hey, watch your language, clown shoes. I don't pay them. They take care of me, so I take care of them. We rub each other wrong all night long. <laughs> Eating, drinking, farting, and screwing. <laughs> Out here, nobody bothers me. I can do whatever I like to whoever I want. He's fucking dead. That's what I can tell you. Feral ghouls ripped his nuts off and ate them for dinner. Uh, a little shithole called Fort Constantine. It fucked us up, but good. It's northwest of here, numbnuts. A long fucking walk, too. Wankers like you can't get in, though. Uh, you need a special set of keys. Then Penny hired us as mercs. He wanted some fancy fucking gun. Don't know how he got Crowley to sign on. Ten Penny fucking hates ghouls. Haha, <laughs> no clown shoes. Ten Penny hired a whole fucking team. Stray, Crowley, Tara, Dave, and me. Tara had a pair on her. Haha, <laughs> sweet Jesus, they were nice. Haha. <laughs> That place fucked her up more than I did, huh? The rest of us went our separate ways after that. Good. I'm getting tired of flapping jaw with your clown shoes. I think I'll flap my balls against Cherry's ass instead. Oh, yeah! Ha. Don't let the door hit you in the ass, clown shoes. Ha <laughs> ha! Hi, sweetie. I'm Cherry. What can I do for you? Dukov likes to keep it hot. Ain't no need for nothing else. He's a lecherous old man. The only reason I put up with him and his needs is because I'm safe here. He tends to shoot first and ask questions later. Don't pull out a weapon near him. He's likely to shoot you. And he's really good. No sweat. It's, well, it's Dukov's place. He lives here. Pretty much, he just does a lot of drinking and partying. Yeah, see you. Hi there, big... Oh my, aren't you a stud? I'm Fantasia. If you need something, just let me know. Dookie doesn't like me to wear a lot. He says it slows things down. He's alright. He can be a real fun guy, but he sure knows how to wear a girl out. Most of all, I'm safe here. I wouldn't pull out a weapon, even just to show him. He gets kind of paranoid about that. Don't get in a shooting match with him. He's really good. Sweet for him, maybe. I'm just along for the ride. He's good with a gun and knows where to get booze. Yeah, see you. Thank <laughs> you. 
What you need? How about a drink? No? Suit yourself. You need to drink more. Ha <laughs> ha!
Candace. Oh my God, it's really happening. I can see the cloud. It's so big. Mom, I'm so scared. I'm heading to the vault now. I'll do whatever I can to get inside. My number of the passcode was seven, right? You just saved my life.
appropriate purchases. You're oh, hey there. Do you need something? Hey, you really know robots, huh? Great to meet another mechanic. I stumbled across this model a while ago. I just can't seem to fix it. Great. Just between us mechanics, try some Mentats before you tackle that robot. They really clear your head. I know they're addictive, but hey, that's just the sort of risk professionals like us take, right? Here, I've got a few. Sir. Hey, what happened with the robot? Thanks. Nice to meet a fellow mechanic out here in the wasteland. Here's your payment. What is it now, sir? Thanks for your help, friend. I don't know what I would have done if you hadn't come along. No problem. A few odds and ends. Pleasure doing business with you. Later.
Yes? How may I serve you, Master? I heard something. Had enough? Oh. 